Hey Catherine, so I'm doing the video today for the items that you got me for Christmas and Kev was going to hold the uh, camera for me but he won't because he's busy, he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing but he won't help out. I told him 10 minutes, he won't do it. Anyway, so we're going to check out the items. Okay, first of all, the open all number 8. Phenomenal, phenomenal knife. Um, I've been using it for two weeks. It is phenomenal. Thin blade, great. Used in the kitchen all the time, at work all the time. Um, don't know if it's a great bushcraft. One thing I noticed though, after two weeks, uh, you get a lot of staining on the blade. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyways, phenomenal, great knife for the cost. Uh, I love it every day. We're also gonna touch out, text out the Coughlin Sportsman pocket saw. I'm going to take it in the garage. We'll pause this video, take it in the garage and uh, cut some PVC pipe and some wood, you know, some cases where you might want to use this. Check it out. And also we're going to check out the 550 fire cord. Yep, we're going to give this a go. Uh, we'll try and I'm not going to do any strength tests or anything like that, but I will do a fire test, uh, the, one of the inner strands. So we'll do that as well. So off to the garage, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here I am and we're gonna cut some of this pipe and we're gonna cut this little stick here with, with the saw. So I'm just gonna open this little saw, the Coglins. And uh, we'll use the open all for this. And there we go, boys. Taking the saw out of its little container. Then we're going to give it a go. There. So let's say you're in a tight spot trying to cut some PVC pipe. We will give this a go. Let's just see if this will work out. Yep, you can see okay. See me? Okay. Ready, cat? And here we go. Ooh. Ooh, kind of tough. Well, might be me. Well, you can see with a little practice, whew, that definitely that definitely cuts. So that does. Maybe if I did it less under pressure, or gas, or whatever, try to do straight, I would be able to. So definitely works on plastic. All right, let's check the wood out. Now we're going to check some wood. This is just a piece of some plywood. And we'll check this baby. Now if I probably wore gloves, it would be better. So I could grip it better. So that would be my one suggestion. And if I Try to slow them once. Yeah, this definitely cuts, man. For some reason, I'm having a gripping problem. I can't seem to bring it back for some reason. Okay, so we know it cuts. It can work. It held up. I mean, it does cut. So, does it work? Yes, it does. Will it work for long? Don't know, but that's the first one. I like it. I like it, Catherine. Thank you. Okay, Catherine, you can see me. 
we're gonna do the fire cord now. So here's the five. Is it? It's more than just paracord. It's 550 fire cord. So let's pull it out. Ooh, feels good. Feels nice. Get a piece of it. I'm not gonna do a strength test, like I said, but. I mean, it's pretty good, and uh, here's the inner strand, so what we're going to do is use my open all right here. We're going to cut off a chunk this big, and and I don't know if this is reflective or not, didn't read it, but we'll melt the end. So it's going nowhere. And then we'll take this apart. We'll take out the fire strand. Let's see if I can take the fire strand. Well, I should be able to take it out by itself. Anyways, let's just take this apart. Pretty good. You've got this that you could use as tying whatever. Then you have all the inner strands that you could be used for whatever. And let's check out the fire. So we're going to break that baby up. Probably, let's just do this first. Let's cut a little piece. Let's just see how it works if I use a lighter to it. Yeah, that burns like nobody's business. That burns like nobody's business. Yeah, that's totally good. But let's say we don't have a lighter. If we don't have a lighter, then we would have to break this up. Try and break this up as much as we can. I'm sure I'm not breaking it up enough, but we'll try this chunk. Pretending we don't want to screw with it too much. And we will see if we can use this baby to strike it. Well, I think I'm gonna have to break it up more, so. Well, maybe I gotta just Hold on a minute, we're gonna break this up a little more. You don't need to watch that part. Okay, so I processed this up or tried to spread it out a little more. We'll try it again. This is, I only used maybe a third of the rope of this fire line that's in there. So we'll see if this works better. I'll spread out. There you go. Like nobody's business and I used just a small amount of that fire string that came out of this strand, say I would say about a third of it, and it worked perfect. So is this a good product? Yes. Um, if you don't have fingernails, I use the tip of my knife, and I do have fingernails, but I use the tip of my knife to, uh, to uh, you know, make it wider so it's easier to combust. So. There it is, three good products. Thank you, Catherine. I think it's awesome. Talk to you soon.